to another very special episode of Piper's Puppet Santa Playhouse Presents Black History Month. And I'm with my friend Deshaun. Hi, everybody. And, and we're here to tell you about Black History Month, the major accomplishments. Black History Month is celebrated in February because of two important birthdays, Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass, who both fought to abolish slavery. Abraham Lincoln was the first president of the United States and Frederick Douglass was a black man who escaped slavery and became a leader of the abolitionist movement. Last time I told you about some of the inventions that were contributed by black Americans. Today, I want to talk about some of the major accomplishments of just a few of some of the great black Americans. To be the first person to do something is pretty great, but to be the first black person to do something is even more special because in a lot of places across America, black people were not allowed to do certain things or to be in certain places just because of the color of their skin. That is not right. Nope, that is not right. That is not fair. Hi, I'm Jackie Robinson. I was born in 1919 in Georgia. I was the youngest in my family. When I was a kid, we moved into a white neighborhood in California. Back then, everybody was segregated. That means they separated black people from white people. And white kids would call me names and throw stuff. They were very mean. I didn't let it bother me though. I just, I just played my sports. I love basketball and ba baseball. I practiced really hard and I got into college in UCLA where I played on an integrated team. That means black and white people could play together. I was really great. I didn't want to be treated differently, but people would still call me names. And I said, I'm not concerned with your liking or disliking me. All I ask is that you respect me as a human being. The Brooklyn Dodgers noticed how good I was and they let me play, but a lot of people were angry. I know it wasn't fair, but I never lost my temper. I never fought back because I believed that we should all play together. And in 1962, I was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. They retired my number. That means nobody else can wear the number 42, but once a year, everybody wears it when they celebrate me. I'm really proud. Hi, I'm Dr. Mae Jemison. I was born in 1956 in Alabama. I love science and I love looking up at the stars. I wanted to see the earth from space. When I was little, I drew lots of pictures of space. I built a cardboard rocket ship and I made an astronaut uniform. My teacher asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up and I said an astronaut. She didn't think I can do it because it hadn't been done before. She said I should be a nurse. I still believed in myself and at the age of 16, I got into Stanford University. I graduated college and became a doctor at Cornell Medical College. I went into the Peace Corps. I applied to the NASA astronaut training program. I became the first African-American female astronaut and I went into space. I'm proud to be the first black American woman in space. Hello, I am Barack Obama. I was born in Hawaii. When I was a kid, my mom and I moved to Indonesia with her new husband. I couldn't believe all the starving people I saw in the streets there. Starving children. They were so poor. Their lives were so bad and it was so unfair for so many people to live that way in poverty. 
When I was 10, I moved back to America and had a hard time fitting in. I studied a lot and I was a great student. I started reading about ways to help poor people. I got my law degree from Harvard. I got into politics so I can help write laws to help poor families. I worked in the Senate and finally ran for president. At the, and at the time, every American president had been white and many people didn't think that an African American could get elected. But in 2008, I was. And in 2012, the people reelected me. And I'm really proud to be the 44th president of the United States of America. There have been so many skilled and talented people who had to work really hard to overcome the challenges that they faced growing up just because of the color of their skin. We're still a long way to go to equality, but at least we are moving in the right direction. But no matter what, if you work hard, you can make your dreams come true. See you next time.